Hello everybody, my name is The Wonder Boy, and this is the first episode of my new series I'd like to call Behind the Drawings. In this episode, I'm going to show you the creation process for my original character, Thraxios. The Scorpion, an arachnid that is known for its painful sting and deadly poison. Gladiators, the ancient world's champions of combat and entertainers of death and glorious victory. Each are known for their strengths in combat and dangerous reputations. But what would happen if we were to combine the two together? This is Thraxios, reborn champion of the sands. Honestly, I have no idea where the inspiration for Thraxios came from. I had originally thought about playing around with the idea of making warrior-type anthropomorphic creatures based on the zodiac animals from different countries. But I was hitting a mental wall when it came to designs, especially where the goat zodiac was concerned. I just could not figure him out. But then all of a sudden this image of a gladiator with a scorpion's tail stuck in my brain and wouldn't go away until I drew it. <laughs> and drew it right. As you can see, the original designs and concepts were very much human with very little scorpion. Note that a lot of these I was just doodling and trying to come up with armor designs and scorpion types from memory, so yeah, that's why these look so bad. I knew I couldn't get the look right from imagination alone. I needed good references, so I did what any true artist would do in this situation. I did a Google. I got the style of armor I wanted, the weapons, color scheme, and a few interesting scorpions to work from as well. But it still didn't feel right. The design was still too human. But what could I do to fix that? Simple. I did a Google. Looking up scorpion people actually introduced me to a whole new species of fantasy slash mythological creature. They're Gerta Blilu. The Gertablilu, or Scorpion Men, are featured in several Akkadian language myths, including the Anuma, Eilish, and Babylonian versions of the Epic of Gilgamesh. They are also known as Akrabumelu, or Gertablilu. The Scorpion Men are described to have the head, torso, and arms of a man in the body of a scorpion. After researching a bit more into this, I decided to delve deep into the fantasy realm of different scorpion-based characters to see what made them so original and stand out from everything else out there on the internet. And there are actually quite a lot. Some of the more well-known characters would be Scorpio from Fairy Tale, Sasori from Naruto, and Scorpion from The Amazing Spider-Man, and of course, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Just to name a few. It was at this point in my research that I decided that going the all-human look with a few scorpion elements was just not the way I wanted to go. So going the route of the Gerti Blilu was, I think, the better way to go. And with that goal set in motion, I shifted my focus on learning more about the strange scorpion centaur. And after going through several more designs, I decided not to do the all-human look and went with the more centaur look. But now that I had the scorpion part down, I needed to combine both the gladiator and the scorpion to make them more cohesively. Believable. And again, the scorpion was an interesting choice to use to combine with the gladiator, since in some gladiatorial contests in ancient Rome included animals such as bears, rhinos, tigers, elephants, and giraffes. Most often, hungry animals fought other hungry animals, but sometimes hungry animals fought against gladiators in contests called Venetonius. I think I'm saying that right. Hold on. Venetonius. Or translated in English, wild beast hunts. So that would technically give me several options to use that would make more sense given that history. But I still wanted that gladiator scorpion design and I just didn't want to change my thinking on that. So I stuck with my guns and continued on my researching journey. And after one or two hours of researching uh, the gladiators and their history, I finally found what I was going for, and that's when I got this design. 
And finally, after all the research and the redesigns, I could finally complete this character. Now after taking you through the step-by-step -step process, I'm going to stop talking for a bit and allow you to enjoy the time lapse, so I'll see you at the end of the video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a long time to make this, but I'm really glad how it turned out. And if you like this and want more, just leave a comment below. Until next time, see you then.